All right, guys, what's up? I got another unboxing, and get that out of here first. So I'm in my room today because I brought all this stuff up here earlier because my dad was on a meeting. Because I didn't want to have him in the video. And then I couldn't do the video then, so I didn't bring all this stuff downstairs, and I didn't really feel like bringing this all downstairs. This is a lot of work to get it up here. So, recording it up here with another Mr. Lampy. As always, please subscribe, hit the bell button if you want notifications, and like the video. Please, please, just please do it. So, today our unboxing is Beyblade Burst Rise, Hypersphere, Hypersphere, and you probably already saw it. Judgment Joker J5. Uh huh. We got Judgment Joker now. Whoa. So Hasbro, a hyper fair. And there we go. And then going over the back of it, zoom in. We got the Joker GT chip, a clockwise spinning one. The layer base Judgment balance type, double zero disc, the trick tip. Which, I don't actually... Oh, and heads up. The original one had rubber. Just heads up. This doesn't have rubber! Okay, I'll explain that again later. But, so, five drop in frequency. Whoa, what the heck? What's, like, the... What the heck is happening? Hold on, give me a second. I feel like something wrong is happening. Oh, no, nothing wrong is happening. There we go. I think you can do a little bit better. The five drop in frequency. That's the highest we've seen so far. And the one run time. The lowest we've seen so far. But as always, if there's six of this, there's zero of this. So which means this is gonna drop in a lot and not really stay on the brink a lot. And that's pretty much it for the box. Let me just I got a knife out today. Uh-huh. Gotta get all fancy in this unboxing. Get all fancy in it. Oh, it takes about the same amount of time now. Okay, where's all the other tape? Cutting into the box now. Whoa, 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 it's not going well. It is not going too well. Let me just zoom out so you can see this a little bit better. This is not going too well. You just take the knife and don't play with knives. Just life lesson. I could shot my fingers off right now, but I didn't because I know how to use it. Ugh, ripcord problem. So curved. So problematic. Is that a word? I don't know if that's actually a word. It's problematic a word. There we go. So here we go. Ripcord. Not straight. I have straighter ones. And then the directions probably won't go over anything again. Oh, you can see my lamp. My lamp. Yep, nothing. Nothing but how to pop the GT chip out, which I will show you. So I guess now I just pull my knife out. I've never actually done this with a knife before. Well, let's just rip these open. You guys can't even see that. Ugh. I feel like I should just stick to using my hands. This knife is a real problem for me. 
not really working. You know, I thought this knife would make it easier to do this. So far, it's not. Just saying. Should I just go back to some good old fashioned ripping? Yeah. I'm gonna rip it out. Seriously, it's not that hard. May as well just try to use the knife for this part. Don't want to damage the layer at least, least as possible. Well, I threw it. Won't be seeing that layer again. Now, nah, I'll, I'll go over and get it. No more knife. Oh, it's way over here. Ah, oh, I got it. Oh, God, that, that was kind of hard. So, some zooming in action. Zoom, zoom. Gotta get the zoom. I need perfection. First thing we'll go over is the layer. So, zoom in more. Get those out of here. There we go. So, so, pop the GT chip out. We got Joker. Pop back out. Joker, Judgment, and the Zen weight, which is stuck inside it. Go in. There we go. And then, you see these red parts? Let me see, where's the camera? Is this it? Okay, yeah, that's it right there. So, um, yeah, this is, in TT, this was all rubber. But as you can see, there's like a groove on it. Oh, God, you can't even see it at all. I'm a horrible man. There's a groove on it. Focus, focus. There, there's like a groove on it. And you can see that it's totally plastic. So, also the other gimmick isn't in here. Where, are you, oh, wait. Gotta get you guys your codes. Gotta get you your codes. Gotta forget that, okay. But right here, there was a gimmick that like slowed the bursting kind of. That's not there. Well, that's kind of it. You can see the little joker faces in here. Kind of. See the joker face on that one? Can you see it on this one? You can't even see it on that one. That stinks. Weird shape for a balance type. Could think it was an attack type. Next up, the... Whoa. Double zero did. So, you would have it if you got Turbo Achilles. Yeah, Turbo Achilles... With the burst blockers, that was the best idea that Hasbro or whoever makes Beyblade ever had. Hmm. And then they gave it up. Well, I guess that doesn't make Beyblade burst Beyblade burst anymore, does it? Well, double zero, you can see. Look at that. That's kind of like zeros. Kind of like double zeros. That's really all there is to go over. It weighs more than the regular zero. That's pretty much all there is to go over. And then now, an also gimmicky part. This is trick. It used to like spin around and like this would move up and down for like attack and stamina. So this would twist and this would move up and down. And like it would like hit the stadium and twist and it would be like stamina mode. Hit the stadium again, attack mode, and then yeah! That's all there is to go over with it. See the sign there. Trick. I think it's upside down. There we go. Trick. It's like a little question mark T. Zoom it out. And. Okay, where is it? Oh, okay, there it is. Oh, wow, that's tight. That is actually tight. I'm surprised it is actually tight. What does this do? Oh, oh, that just focuses on something else. Okay, well. Probably actually all there is to go over with the bay. Might as well just get the launcher. Oh, wow. 
Zoo. Oh, wait, what? That's the stand I put it on. There you go. Just move this forward a little bit. Now zoom out. There. See, I got it. We, I had some technical difficulties, but I'm good now. Well, that was boring. That was... Oh, it's moving. Right off the bat, that, well, that was boring now, wasn't it? That was the least exciting thing I've seen all day. I'm going to be totally honest. That was the least exciting thing I've seen all day. I'm going to redo that. There we go. Well, I was boring again. You know what? I'm just going to get into some battles. Wait, where are my other? Okay. Here we go. So first up, I'm going to battle it against, it's going to be Ace Dragon, because it battled the dragons last time we saw it. It's like, mm, that was the last time we saw Judgment Joker. Will it come back later? Who knows? Will there be a burst? We may get a, no, there's no burst. It, it's just going to run out of stamina. That, that's what the rubber's for. So it doesn't run out of stamina. It's those super hard hits. Let me see. So, ah! That's the worst. I messed up my... It fell off the launcher. Yeah, that's the worst thing. It fell off again. I'm just going to go for it now. Oh my god, it bursted it. Did you see where the tip kept spinning? Do that with Devolos as Dual Phantom ish. Well, guess what? Dragon just won. Three to Zippo. Three to Zippo Zero. That was amazing, now wasn't it? I forgot to say in the intro, I am soon gonna get Dusk Bull Kesh and Wizard Fafnir. So just saying that now. Judgment Joker won that, right? I'm pretty sure it's won nothing to Judgment. Attack! God, what a boring battle. There we go. Two nothing judgment joker. That was a powerful hit now, wasn't it? Oh my god. That was like the slightest thing ever. That was really slight thing. Okay then, well judgment joker almost Almost beat Rock Dragon. So close. Just, as they say on Jeopardy. Close, but no cigar. Which, I don't know why Joker wants a cigar, but... That's like loud hits. And Judgment Joker, no clue how, won that with a survivor finish against Glyph Dragon. That's like the most damn that. Oh my god, it's so loud. You guys have no clue what it is like to be here. It is so loud. And 1 1, Glyph Dragon just got that point. That was a, oh my god, it is so loud. There you go, quiet down a little bit. 
the hits are like boom, boom, boom. It's like gunshots. Boom! So loud. Oh. And it is two to one glitch dragon. How would Joker come back from this? How will he do it? How? I'm dying to see. Oh my god, he's gonna win. Tie! My god, it was a tie! It's still two to one. Joker's still in this thing! I consider it to still be it. Ow, my ears so loud. And Joker lost. But I actually just happened to have Fafnir with I actually brought Fafnir up to my room yet earlier. No clue why, but I did. So I'm just gonna battle it because it's here. And Judgment Joker. These both were supposed to have rubber. Like the TT one had rubber, but Hasbro didn't decide to put it in. They have some common ground. I'm hoping for a burst finish, though. And there's the burst that I was hoping for. There we go. And it's already two to zip, Joker. That was a snipe, but you know, let's go with this. Joker wins. Let me see. Oh, Fafnir. There's no joke about to burst. Like, two more hits and Fafnir would have bursted. Bursted? No, it would have burst. Guess what? This is going to be the thumbnail. Thumbnail. Or er, zoom in. Thumbnail. Okay, well. Pretty good day if you battle against turbos. I mean, it bursted twice. So, eh. It's an iffy bit. It has pretty tight locks, though. So, but it's probably where I'm going to end off the video. Please subscribe, like the video, hit the notification bell if you want those notifications. And stay tuned for more unboxings and battles. Bye.